Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel, We Educators. Today I will teach you about the types of pronouns. First I will tell you what is pronoun. A pronoun is a word that is used instead of noun or press, noun presses. Noun pronouns refers to either a noun that has already been mentioned or a, to a noun that does not need to be named specifically. So what are the types of pronouns? Relatively pronouns, relief, reflexive pronouns, objective pronoun, personal pronoun or subject pronouns, reciprocal pronouns, positive pronouns, demonstrative pronoun, interrogative pronoun. So there are eight kinds of pronouns. Number one, personal pronoun. Personal pronouns are used in place of a specific person or thing. There are different person's pronouns depending on whether we are referring to subject or object of sentence, grammatical person, gender, and the number of things people in question. There are also positive forms of these pronouns used to indicate positive position or ownership. For example, for first person, it is always I, me, mine. For second person, you, you, yours. Third person, he, she, it. So these are the pronouns, personal pronouns. Now, number two is demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are used in place of particular things to show which one were, uh, we are discussing. For instance, I don't like that one, but I do like this one. The word that and this each indicate a specific thing in relation to the speaker. This plural, these is singular, is used to refer for to nearby things, while that plural, those, refers to the things far away. Number three is relatively pronoun. We use a relative pronoun when describing a noun in terms of how it relates to another word. For example, you are face to face with me, with the man who shows all the world. In the above, who is the relative pronoun because it helps to show the relationship between the nouns, man, word, thereby indicating that we are referring to a specific person. Number four is reciprocal pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns express a mutual relationships or action in English. We use each other and, and one another for this purpose. For instance, Shirley and Jack look after each other here. Each other shows that the relationship between the nouns Shirley and Jack is reciprocal, i.e. for example, it goes two ways. The alternative would be uh, to write Shirley looks after Jack and Jack looks after Shirley which makes it easy to see how important pronouns are for writing consistently concisely number five identity definite pronouns as the name suggests indefinite pronouns are used when referring to someone's pronoun specific uh, for example everyone or everything or something unknown for example someone or something they can be broken down into singular they like each other they talk each other now reflexive pronouns the reflexive pronouns are myself yourself herself itself other self yourself and themselves a reflexive pronoun and self or selves and refers to another noun or pronoun in the sentence uh, usually the subject of the sentence for example the dog bit by itself here the reflexive pronoun itself refers back to the noun the dog are you talking to yourself the, in this example the reflexive pronoun yourself refers back to pronoun you now the last noun is intensive or emphatic pronouns the intensive pronouns are myself, yourself, herself, himself, itself, herself, yourself, and then self. They are the same as reflexive pronouns, but they are used as differently. <clears throat> an intensive pronoun, sometimes called an emphatic pronoun, refers back to another noun or pronoun in the sentence to emphasize. For example, they emphasize that it's in the thing carrying out the, uh, the action. For example, John speaks all the bread himself here the intensive pronoun himself refers back to the noun john the cat itself opened the door in the in this example the intensive pronoun itself refers back to the noun the cat so these are the eight types of pronouns personal pronoun possessive relative demonstrative respect reciprocal emphasize and indefinite all are the eight types of pronouns 
hope you have learned a lot from my this video in the next video i will share some another learning thing take care till then bye bye and if you like my video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe my channel